नमस्ते एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू डेटा मिलेनियल्स हे एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर गूगल डेटा स्टूडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन ऐड कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग इन टेबल सो लेट्स गो टू आवर गूगल डेटा स्टूडियो फर्स्ट सो दीज आर द थ्री टेबल्स व्हिच वी हैड क्रिएटेड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो राइट एंड ड्यूरिंग द क्रिएशन आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी हैड दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग व्हिच आई विल बी showing you in the next video right so in this video i'll go through this conditional formatting in detail so first of all what we'll do is that we'll create a new table here okay so let's create a new table so i have selected a table from this chart and then let's take this one as by default and it's taking the sum of customer number so it has city and we should take count of customer number okay so we'll select count of customer number now what we will do is that i have to create a conditional formatting so whichever whichever city has more than 500 customers that should be in green or whichever city has less than 500 customer should have a background color of red okay so in order to show you that i will increase the size of this table first so now you can see that we have we have this table and currently when i see this okay let me let me format this table a little bit so okay now let's see this table first okay we have this table and we have somewhat around 986 entries okay and we have 100 tab 100 pages of this table okay so in a single page we can scroll up to 100 records right now what i want to do is that whichever city has less than 500 i want to highlight those rows as green and whichever has less than 500 i want to highlight it as red okay currently when you see this data it's a good table but it doesn't visually it doesn't appeal us right so in order to make us more in order to make this table more appealing what we can do is that we can add this conditional formatting so in order to add the conditional formatting what you need to do first is that you need to click on this table or select this table then you have to go on style okay then the first option is conditional formatting you have to click on this add which will add a rule so once you click on this add you will get this window will be opened currently we have two options with this color type a single one or a color scale so i'll show you both the first one let's go ahead with single color okay so for formatting rules it's asking me to select a particular field so i'll select city or the customer number okay and the condition would be greater than now either i can put a value here or i can select the columns here i can select a field so if you are comparing two different column values then you can use this fields chart fields okay currently i am just comparing the number based on a single column which is the count of customer number in a city right so <coughs> sorry so if the input value is greater than 500 okay then what kind of color style would you like to add so for entire either if you you can select the entire row so that the entire row would be highlighted in green or you can select the city or customer number so this means that you can select a particular column value to be get highlighted or the entire row to be get highlighted so i'll select the customer number here okay i want the text format to be in white and the background to be in green okay now you can see the text style how it would appear in your report and then i'll click on save okay now you can see that once i have done that 
within this editor window i can see that okay these numbers has been highlighted in green as a background color now i want to add a, another rule so whichever number is less than 500 i want it in red so again i'll click on add okay i'll select the single color i'll select the field as customer number condition would be less than okay and the input value would be 499 okay now i'll select the customer number which i want to highlight and then the text font would be as white and background color as red and i'll click on save so there you go if now i click on view i can see that whichever number is less than 500 is highlighted in red okay now the next part of this conditional formatting so i have to select this table first then go to style click on add we'll select this color scale before we select this color scale let's remove the earlier conditional formatting which we had applied okay so i'll delete these of these two and i'll click on add another rule okay and i will select color scale now it will ask you based on which column you would like to format the cells so i'll select a field which is customer number by default the customer number the count of customer number is the only numeric field right so i have selected customer number now the color and style so you can click on this and select the color style which you want okay so i'll select from uh, blue to green okay so it will for point one you are supposed to have less number so either you can start from top to bottom or you can start from bottom to top so for me the point one would be in number as well as point two would be number and point three would be number so this point basically these one point one point two and point three represents the minimum minimum value then the average value and the maximum value or you can turn it around as the point one as the lowest value then the point two as the maximum value and the point three as the highest value okay so let's start with the minimum value so number one would be 100 okay then point two would be 500 and point three would be 1000 okay and i would select the color as red then blue and this one as a background as let's see green okay and i click on save so once i did that you will see that all those numbers the formula which i applied in the conditional formatting has been applied here whichever number is below 100 or till 100 is in red whichever number is above 100 or is in blue or sorry uh, let me see what formula we had applied okay so we had given hundred till red five hundred till blue and thousand as green right while we have this number which shows the differences between them okay so based on our <coughs> sorry based on our conditional formatting we had the numbers background and it has been represented in different colors right so this is how basically you create a conditional formatting for a table now if you want to delete a rule what you can do is that you have to select that table then click on a style okay and then either you can edit from this pencil button or you can delete it also so first you click on this pencil button then you will get an option to edit from this pencil button you can click on it and edit it otherwise if you want to delete it you can click on this button to delete this rule or if you want to add another rule you can click on this button and you will have to go through the similar process of adding another rule for conditional formatting so what i'll do is that i'll keep this one as it is so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll tell you how we can create a scorecard in google data studio hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button